Welcome everyone to part two of collapsing Satoshi Kimiya's Ancient Dragon Another slash Ancient Dragon 2.0. Now, I decided to make this because it's been extremely requested and just thought why not show the basic collapsing which you can then go and shape the full model. Now, I didn't want to collapse this originally, I wanted to take this full sheet to the origami convention so I have something to fold there as well so I will probably depending where I get on at the end of this video I will unfold it and then take it to the convention so I have something good to fold there as well um, I only took a Kamiya, no, a, a Kota crease pattern last time <laughs> a freaking Kota crease pattern I took I had no tweezers so I couldn't even collapse it but anyway this is the continuation of part one so this is the Partial collapsing. Now, link to the crease pattern is in the description. Yeah, I've got my camera set up higher just to make it easier for the first part because it's quite a large sheet of paper. Uh, this will be in the description. Links in the description. Make sure to download it. Now, the plan for this is because this is near enough identical to the first version, we will first of all follow the diagram and do the initial collapsing until we make basically this part where you fold these edges up and this comes up at the 90 degrees and then we will go to the crease pattern and use this to collapse these pleats and once we've done that we will go back to the diagram fold up to I think it's step 100 around about 100 so we'll fold up to roughly step 100 and then we will come back to this to use the crease pattern to collapse the head because the main two differences in this model are pardon me, are the pleats and the head because we have teeth as well so uh, I'll try and keep this in frame because it does if I take out a frame then the, all the colours go weird because it's red paper and my camera hates red so I'll try and keep it like that but anyway, so again I'm going to assume that if you're following this to collapse then you've already got it pre-creased. If you haven't, I'll have an annotation up on the top right. So if you click on that, I will show you how to pre-crease. That will take you to that video. Now let's begin. First of all, make sure where are my tail. Yeah, make sure the head is at the top left. And then this is the colour side. So we're going to flip it over to the white side. Like that. And then we are just let me see what it is here. Yeah, so mountain fold the middle and then ballet fold where the toes are, so through the toes. Now I did do this off camera just so I could have a practice run at doing this. So it seems fine. And then again, ballet fold through these toes. And then you cut this. I don't think I've ever made a tutorial with paper about 70 centimeters. And then we're just going to reverse fold through these creases to open up and then which crease is it? Push out these creases. So these are uh, this process is the exact same as the first one if you're not sure what I'm doing. Again, I'll do it slow and show all the detail. Now, once the paper gets smaller, I will bring the camera down so I can see what I'm recording because right now I can't see because the camera is quite high up. I'm not a fan of that. So, look at that. 
stand up and check. I'm going to bring this back in frame to reduce the colour. And then the same on this side. So we have this. Right, so we have this. Now we've we'll probably already been here at some point when we made the first one. Now what we're going to do is Yeah. So again open sink this flat right here, so from this point to this point and then it's the same on the other side Maybe I'll find it a white background for the next part. I'll wait and see. So, like that. Oh, I did the wrong piece, that's why. That's fine. I was wondering why it looked so different. I go wrong here. That's I don't have this. So you should have that. Let's fix this. 
Alright, so that's the main parts that we're going to do now. Let me just double check. Yep. So now we are going to go to the crease pattern to collapse the pleats. So let me bring this down. Again, that's like I could come down more actually. Yeah, I can't go down actually anymore. So, this will need to work. Right, maybe I'm a bit tricky to show this part, but once I have it fully collapsed, I will show you. Yeah, I don't like the, the colour and difference from that to that. So, let's just try and keep this in frame. So again, where are we? The head is at the bottom. Yep, so we'll turn it so the head is to the right, the right hand side. And we will unfold it. And let me see, back to the other side first, put it this way. So the head is to the left. Now if we unfold it, open up. And again, to make it easier, just follow the crease pattern, the colours especially, and we're going to collapse uh, that one tool first. So we're first of all just going to make these ones here. And then start collapsing the pleats. So I'm glad that I did this off camera, so it'll be much easier to actually do it. And start pushing this in. Again, this is all on the cheese pattern. I'm going to collapse it exactly as it shows. Basically, a transition unit for the first two. Which we have just collapsed. This one and this one. So I'm going to turn it around and do the same again on this side. So just push in this part. And then we also need to push that in. Ah. This part. So we get that. And that's the first one basically done. Second one, I do apologise if it's really bright in colour. It only happens when I use red paper, which is annoying. And then for this part, we are going to push this part inside, and this part will come underneath this part. Right, I had it. Like that.
and then like that. Then it gets pushed over like that, so that creates the four pleats. And then put it on this side, back to the other side. Where's I'm done? No, no. folds on that large one, push it in, and then have on that first one, the final clip. So basically, once you have it all together, that should probably take a few attempts. To get all flat. Then I should make those creases too small. Yeah, I could. We basically have that. And that is the tweaks collapsed for the body or the belly. Now let's take a few minutes to slowly unfold it and then to try and help you get it collapsed. I know I did it quite quick there. That was because, pardon me, I collapsed it off camera, made the creases really strong and perfect and then unfolded it so it would be easier to show this rather than spend half an hour which it took me to put it in the first time. So let's try to unfold this. So this is holding the crease pattern this way. We have the head at the left and the tail at the right. So the tail is here, the head is here. So that's what it looks like. And again, when you do collapse this, don't just, once you have it in place, don't just force it together. Flip it over and check this side as well to make sure you're using all the pieces correctly. Because I was, but I wasn't using them fully. So make sure you use them uh, as they are, not at a different angle or this or that. And then the other side as well. So this is the head to the right and the tail here. Not 
doesn't, doesn't need to be absolutely perfect at the moment. And let's put this back down as well. Flip this back over. See, that's a much better colour. I don't know why the camera doesn't react to it like that. So annoying. Anyway, that is that part done for the pleats. We can now uh, get rid of that, but I'll keep on camera just to try and keep the colour perfect. Okay, so let's see where we are. Let me just double check. So 51. Okay, right, so let me see. Where is the head? Tail's at the front. Okay, that's fine. Um, that, that should be a fine angle right now. So we are going to. Which way the poop's gone? This way. So now we're going to collapse the toes. So we need to make the mountain fold as normal for these ones to collapse these first bring it up to collapse these ones so I'll probably do it I should do this for let's try this thing first Let's get these plates locked in place, so I need to do this one first. Yeah, that's easier. So it holds these plates. Correct, I'm just going to make sure that I'm using the cushion fully. Yeah, I think I am. <coughs> Let me zoom up, let me make them up a wee bit. <coughs> then we can start to form these toes. I won't bring it all the way down because I haven't got the pieces. Covering it all the way as well. In fact, um, yeah. I'll leave it like that for now. And we fold it over. And then same with the next one. Just make sure you push up underneath to keep these plates aligned. And then grip it first, then grip it next. Over and then once more. Then make sure you're holding it here. I'm pushing up underneath right here to make sure I'm correctly using the creases for these pleats. And then once I can feel it's flat, which that feels good to me, so I'm going to pinch here and then grab here and then just form it roughly on this side. And you, you could even have a few pegs here as well. But 
like that would even work. Now, once I've got it in this rough position, I'm not going to fully uh, squish it together. I just want to double check to make sure I'm using all the correct pieces. That way I can be as accurate as possible. So I'll basically have this. And then fold it over. Now, let me see. I might peg it here and get pegged for it. I'm going to peg it right there just to hold it in place. Now, this part. So we're just going to do the exact same what we did here, right here. So we need to open up. And there's the shooting. And then that's the first one. Much easier because we've already got the other ones in place. And they've come all the way down these pieces this time. And again, keep that 90 degree angle and make sure you're using them correctly. I am not here. Oh, I think it's because I've made these valley folds. Because they will be valley folds once they come to sink the, the paper for the toes. And then the final one. And then just fold over to match with the piece because they're going to the right on this side. And then we have this. Fold it back up. I won't lie flat here because I don't have the creases all the way down. So it should be good for now. If it doesn't work then I'll make them just to help. But anyway, we have this. So, should I show that again on this side? Yeah, let's go for it. But first of all I need to... So it's basically the same again on this side.
that's the first one. Then we need to open up on this side. Second one, same again. Make sure the plates are fully being used. I'm just going to peg it here first, just to help hold that part. Number two. And then the final one. So I need to work on that bit. And he has that. Now unfold this, I'll peg it up here. And same again, just unfold it up. I remember doing, doing this part the first time and just being so confused as to what I had to do for this part. and the final one And that's 
Plain one. Like that. Right, so next step, uh, I had to unfold it and then make these creases and then these ones as well for the next step. And then the same on this side and then refold it all back. And I've also turned down the ISO, so it should look a bit better in terms of not too red. So basically, we're doing the exact same as what we've done here on these two ones right here. So it's basically two large, uh, large variations of these ones. So same again. Open up. And then let me grip here first. And then do this one here. That same process. Yeah, let me just see. Yeah, I might as well just do this one at the same time. Turn it around. Ah, oh, can't even do that. Probably just do one side at a time. It's much easier. And then just fold it over. Yeah. I remember when I did this the first time, I get so confused. Like, what the hell do I do here? So, like that. And then it fits the same on this one as well. I'm so glad that I unfolded and made these pieces, otherwise it would have been an absolute nightmare. To make these. It's lying better now. So we have this. And we'll pull the back up. Now, tail side, which is this one. The head one as well, these parts. So, tail side up, we're just going to, as usual, squash, uh, open sink this part right here.
then just bring it back together and just fix it up. Find it a neat one. Right, I'm going to go off camera and flatten all this, but basically you bring it back to normal. I built like that. So let's quickly meeting this up off camera. So now we have this. Now we're going to turn it around and do the exact same on this part right here. So again, I'm going to go off camera and meeting it all up. Now, we'll put it on both sides. So we've done it here first and then second. Roughly folded it back up in half. Now, fold over the head. Remember, head at the top. Fold it over. And now we can make this part lie flat. We're going to use these angled pieces. That's a very satisfying fold to make this thing. And then the mountain fold comes down, that's here, this comes up. There. And then we push on. And then the ballet fold on this one and this one. We'll bring it together. Like that. Yeah, so basically, same again, I'm going to fold over one layer, two layer, three layers, and then just repeat the process right here. So open this up, make the mountain fold, mountain fold. Now we're starting to use the creases we made and two pieces. Like that. So 
it's good to have something like that. And basically when we come to this part we'll just unsink this part out as you normally do and then we'll, we will jump from the diagram to the piece part on, and then hopefully be able to collapse the head and then it should all lie near enough flat from that point but we've got a few more things to do like the sinks right, so I'm going to fold this part over to the left We're just going to open this up and then fold this part down. And then also take a few minutes just to make sure you're aligning up and using the full crease. Now we are going to take this edge, fold it to this crease line, squash this edge and then open sink this part. Let's go back. I don't know about how good I'll be able to show this sink but it's the exact same as the first as the, as in the first version. So again, edge to the crease. Just holding it tight so the legs don't move. And then just squash it symmetrically or evenly. Like that. So this part is basically straight to this angle, to this line, not at an angle like that or over. So it basically lines up. Now unfold it and repeat it on this side so just flip the layers over and then repeat it on this side so this edge to this crease. Oh, this is quite tricky with this angle. Now we just need to open sink on this line for the first flap. And also a really tricky sink so I'll try it to do it on camera, but if I can't then you'll need to do it yourself. But we've got all the pieces here. Try from outside first. So I'm going to use my weak tool to help do it need. Take my time to make sure I'm using the right pieces. Um, yeah, so that gets them out full. So I'll leave that part like that. I can't I mean, I'd really make it flat until I do this side.
Oh, that is actually much easier than I expected. I think it, I was going to say, I think, I think it's because it's bigger paper, but the last one was much larger paper I used. So. Anyway, that's basically that. And then the same on the other side. Find where the creases are going. I need to try and get inside this part. Okay, I can fix that part last. So we'll find there now. edge up so I can make this mount fold. Push it back in. Push this part in, bring it up. What's happened here? Bring this thing up a little more. That'll work. Let's just do that. And then, there we go. That's what you should have after those two sinks. I'm going to show you this wee part. I can go either way, I can go to the left or the right. This part, you can both take it to the left or to the right. Whichever way suits you. Okay, now, done that. I'm going to flip it over and we're going to pull out this layer of paper to push up from the inside here. Right, the middle part of the mountain form. I'm going to go back up a bit. Now what we're going to do is, normally you would make the full crease going all the way down and then open sink that, but because I don't have the full crease, I'm not going to risk folding through all these layers for it to get off. So we're going to open sink starting on this part, through here and here and here, and then we will jump to make these ones and then put this part in place. So basically, open up, and you can see we've got 
that's diagonal, or that's crease, here, here, and here. We're just going to make those the mountain folds. So that's the first side done, I'm going to jump to this side. I think I'll do this one first. And I'll just quickly put the second one in place off camera just so I can get it neat. Now we are going to make valley fold, valley fold, mountain fold, and then this one will be the mountain fold, and then valley, valley. And then bring it together, fold it over, So we have that. Now fold this part down so we see the pleats. And then we're going to bring the right side over. So basically bring both sides up while folding up the inside parts. And then it's going to be the exact same as what we did for the previous sinks. It's going to fold edge to edge, squash it, and then open sink. And then you're going to do that four times. Yeah, so we don't open this part, we keep it closed. Yeah, so originally we wouldn't have these pleats here, we would only have one, but we would keep that part closed, so we would open sink the rest of it, while keeping where the crease hits through here closed. So, I'll probably just try this one first. I'll do one, and then you can do the rest off camera, or by yourself.
thing like that. Yes, so you do open sync this part and keep these parts closed. But before we do that, we need to make these creases on here and then on these two flaps as well. So we'll do that first before we actually do the sinks. Now that we have made all four creases for the sinks on four on the on the four flaps. Now it's annoying when they don't tell you to do this. They'll tell you to sink one, then the other, and then do it on the other side, but because you've sunk this side first, this side will be twice as thick, so you're much more likely to have the next creases off because you can't get the right balance. But anyway, it's a really good thing to do that, is to pre-crease them before you actually sink on both sides or all parts, and it works for every model. Anyway, we are going to open sync this one first. I'm only going to do one on camera. In fact, I'll do the top one because that's where the closed part is. I'll do one on camera and then you can do the other three off all by yourselves. Again, we're going to keep the pleats closed. So this is going to be quite tricky. It's probably harder than the first one. Um, let me just see. try and picture where I'm at. I think I'll try and make this side first. Well, maybe not this side. Ah, this side's opening up better. Alright, so I need to try. Can I get my hand in here? So I just need to make sure that I'm correctly using these creases right here so they don't work in any way. So I just need to make sure I'm pushing up that they're actually going to be mountain folds all the way. Right, that's that one thing. Let's try and move it down here. And then that's that. Going in the place easier, easier. There. So that's that side done. Let's just make this crease. Like that. Right, let's see where these go. This is where that opens up. So we have this so far. So this part's in place, in place, almost in place. And we need to sink these bits. Yep, so I won't squish this part completely because again we have this wee sort of part. And then before I fully close it I'm just making sure that all the creases are naturally being used. So I believe that is it. In fact, yeah. I'm going to do this one as well on camera, just so I can get this part flat, and then that should be easier for you to do the other two, the exact same. It's just a matter of trying to open up.
put an imagined in this with tiny paper, these sinks. And I think Boyce did it as well, with small paper, like, I think it was 25 centimetres. Or, was it someone? Oh no, thank you. in place and it's that side's fine this side I need to leave it more work that side is in place now and it's just a matter of this part Let's put this part in place and then I can fix the middle up. making sure I'm using these pieces for Yeah. So we should have this. Fold it back over, and there we go. So, like that. That actually wasn't that hard, and that helps because we pre creased the four sinks uh, at uh, before we collapsed. Imagine having a pre crease these two now, or even this one, when you've already collapsed this one. It's twice as thick, trying to line up, uh, it would be a nightmare. I've done it before, I've learned from my mistakes, so it's a really good trick to look ahead and see what needs pre creased beforehand, etc. Okay, so now you do the exact same thing on these two flaps. You will probably have a wee bit of an overlap here, similar to this part right here in the centre, but should be good. Anyway, do the same again here and here. Now we have this. What you should have after those sinks. So again we do have another wee like gusset type right here. Similar or the exact same to the ones that we've got here and here. So make out another two here as well. Now we are going to keep them to the left and then just fold up all these layers. Try and do this neatly. Ah, oh, why are you what that? I'm not going to push it all flat again just so I'll make sure it's fine I think it is. Just make sure these outside parts are good so I'm going to push it in there just to make it got easier. Yeah. So I'll fold it up and then fold this layer over and over and then just going to squash fold on the crease I've already made. So again, like when it tells you to do the, the diagram, that you have to make it, have to make these creases. So trying to be precise like this, when it's really thick, I won't lie, perfectly flat, it's, it's, it's going to be a nightmare. So it's much easier to make them before you collapse. It's a bit more work, but 
when you get to this point, when you actually fold them, that is night and day. And then I'm just going to petal fold them and then sink this point inside. Open up and then put this part inside. Like that. I mean, that was so much easier when it's already pre creased compared to when you have to actually go and make them all again or make them first. So, I'm going to fold this part down, back to the fold it down. Fold it back over. Fold these over again and repeat right here. Then just sink and sink. And then fold it back over like that. So we've just sunk both sides here on the left side and the right side with the tail up. Then flip it over and we're at the head. Now this is the other piece of This is where we come to collapsing. And we use the crease pattern as well for it. So let me see. You should check the diagram first. Yeah, I need to fold to fold this part in. Yeah, so we need to fold these parts down first. And it has ripped a wee bit there. That was because when I was doing these sinks earlier on for it, that happened. Annoying. But it shouldn't be seen. What side is it? Yeah, so this is the left hand side. I want to do it on the right hand side. Just trying to balance it all out first before I do this. Just 
Okay. So we have this. Now we are going to flip it over now to the head and unsync this part up. We're going to make the mountain folds on these parts and then the valley folds. Round about here, we're actually going to make the creases because we won't actually probably need them. And then we're going to adjust to the crease pattern. Now be very careful. Yeah, so that's what let's see. No, I'm gonna just have a look quick and I think I could go ahead and to the crease part. Yes. We should be good. So have your crease pattern ready at hand and we're just going to start collapsing so I'm going to start from here I'm going to try and put in this little uh, swivel the same as here and then I need to see where it is first from here, it's here. Um, yeah that's a mountain as well so I'll, I'll collapse the outside first that's all. and then once we do this we should have the collapsed head for the ancient dragon another. I wanna do this bit more. Ah mountain folds all the way up and then here 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 so what I'm doing is on the crease pattern I'm making this the whole mountain fold and then this the mountain fold mountain fold I'm going to squish this part make that the valley and then try and align up these pleats that's the plan Oh, I forgot to make a crease here. Yeah. Yeah. How did, did I miss that? I have no idea. So that goes over and then it's a closed sink here so I can do that but now to hold that part in place Now I'm going to do the same on this side as well, again just to keep it all symmetrical. Just make this 
I film it and fold them out, and then I'll change it after. Same again. Right, so we're good here. We can do this sink. I've done it on both sides. No, that's not done. There. Let's see what is next. So I think we're just going to start putting in these pleats. Start to get them formed. Yeah, actually the centre ones first. Then they come around. So let's try that. So I'm going to start off with the top ones. And just form this up. I'm going to try and put this part in as well. Okay, so we've got this part in place. Now we can start to make the full mountain and valley folds to hold it in place. Again, before I actually do that, I'm just going to double check to make sure I'm just using it correct. It feels fine, it looks fine, so I'm happy with it. So I'm going to hold thumb here and finger underneath, and then just make that. And that will start to hold it. And I think I'll just do this one as well. And now it's just a matter of sinking and then out. So we've firmly got this part in place. Now we just need to focus on connecting them up. So this is the easier side. So we did the harder side first. We did that first so we could use those closed sinks. 
or basically overlaps to hold the paper together. in this part and then we'll work on the bottom it's actually so satisfying doing this when it, pardon me, when it all comes together ok so we've got this part done now a quick recap of what we've done we put this one in place, we closed sync this part, we then made the mountain fold valley and mountain to lock these wee parts together, then we just extended the creases up and around and back around and then collapsed it using these creases here. So that's what we've done. And then we are just going to put in this part here. See the pieces here in the right shape. So that I've got pushed down and then like that. So we're going to leave it like this because we can't fully collapse this part until we do the other side. So basically, we have this because the valley fold and the crease pattern or the creases from the center right here they get equally distributed by pushing down on this side and on this side, and then they change direction and come this way to form and fully collapse this part. So we can't fully do that until the other side. So let's do it the other side. Now first of all I'm just going to put this part in place and make sure it's fully used. Yep, that's fine. I want to swap hands, it's a bit feels different when I do it with the other, the other hand when it's not used to doing it. Alright, so I've done it on those two major ones. Now the inside part.
probably think it's got pans so I can actually show it good. So we're almost done it on this side. Done it here, done it here. Again, okay, so just need to open up and then form this part. Bring basically 90 degree fold and then 90 degree angle as normal before we can collapse this next part. So I'm just making sure I've got the pieces are correctly done first before we try and bring this all together. Right, the right side went in perfect, so it's just the left hand side. Maybe a bit more adjusting. Ah, well, why did the right hand side went perfect and then this one doesn't? Not so well. Yeah, I'm going to quickly go off camera, put this in place, and then I'll show you what it looks like. And we should have this. You should have this. So basically I just had to bring up this paper to get the right angle to fully cut this part in here. And you're almost done with collapsing of the head. And it's just this part right here, I'm not entirely, I'm not sure if I made these creases correct. I think I will uh, use the, the diagram when I come to this to make them, if they are wrong. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Oh, right there, I then just bring this up. And 
and then just last one. Now I think I will move on. I think that's correct. I'm not sure if the angle is correct. I think it is. But anyway, I'll actually just keep it like this. And then come to the, at the end. So there we go, that is the head fully collapsed. You should have this. That's actually a, a fun, satisfying collapse to do. Now the good thing is, because the head is different from the first version, we stopped at step We've done step 99 where we unsunk this part out and then we went to the crease pattern so we can actually, let's see how far we can jump ahead. So from step 99 to, where am I? Step, um, yeah, to step 165 we can jump to from the looks of it, no, here, yeah. yep, 165, because we've got all this collapsed, so that is basically what step 165 looks like. Obviously the head is different on that version, so we can continue from step 165 and finish the base of this dragon. Mm -hmm.